Hello and welcome everybody, I am One Proud Bavarian and we are back as Kunungr Brandr the Magnanimous. The Conqueror of Sardinia, or how I will call this kingdom from now on, the Isles. That is right. And then we're going to call the adjective, what about Islanders? Islander attack on, something like that sounds right, right? Because we're going to be the kingdom of the Isles, I will conquer and plunder the entire Mediterranean Sea if necessary. Now I do hope, oh what is this? Denmark got uh, Scotland? When did this happen? See, I, I didn't know this. This should split off on the death of Knugre er Erik. But we're going to see about that. I hope that I will never have to uh, free inherit the Kingdom of Englandi. Knugri Iva right now is making his son Prince Kjartan the Catholic. Oh boy. He's making Prince Kjartan the Catholic inherit. Interesting choice, my friend, but so be it. So the way I see it is um, I would love if there was a mechanic in CK2 to make yourself un ineligible. Pardon me, that's the word. Ineligible for title succession, but we can't do that. Which means that there is a threat of us inheriting things up there. Now, as you can see right here, we don't own anything there. I would prefer never to own anything here. Roleplay-wise, Konungr Brandr, a few years back, got up and said, Boys, I'm leaving. And then he just left. He was, uh, you know, essentially... Oh, also, they already reconquered this. Jesus Christ. When did they retake that? History. Inherited. Granted. You were granted this, and then... How did you inherit it from Ingemar? I'm so confused, you know? I don't need to understand everything. I know that he was burned. Oh, they must have vassalized him, like properly vassalized him and then burned him or something. Something like that anyway. Probably, uh... No, actually I know what they did. They conquered it, but it was a de jure war. So he was still in power, then he burned him and he was gone. Uh, but we essentially went to the Mediterranean and said we're not coming back. Now that we have the army here is a bit weird, I will admit, but it is what it is, and I have big plans for this episode. Already two minutes in, I just wanted to give you the kind of like background, you know, roleplay-wise, because I did have to play a lot in a way that isn't roleplay-wise, roleplay-friendly in <laughs> the last episodes. What I'm going to do first off, I'm going to get a smith here for some good old crown jewels, because I would love some crown jewels for the Isles in particular. I'm also going to go ahead and revoke your title. Vassals are going to hate me, but I don't really have any beside him. Some, you know, safe peasant is a productive peasant. We got some people down here as barons, but who cares about that? So, we now got this title, and I've been thinking. I'm going to get the, the jeweler, but then, I mean, I think we're going to start going around to conquer further in the region of the islands. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and maybe plunder Rome a bit more. Plundering Rome is fun. Invite the famous goldsmith, I will order an impressive set of jewels. And he immediately, one day, it took him one day to do it. I think this is a bit buggy, but don't worry about it. We got the crown of... What the fuck? Why do I hold... Oh, we inherited! Oh no. One minute, one minute, I need to... We inherited England last episode, and that meant that we inherited the Crown of Crows and the Sword of Heroes. I hope that I don't... Oh, there you go, Crown of the Sea. It's only level 2, this one is level 3, but this one is the Crown of England. I don't... I don't deserve this. The Crown of the Sea, that is my crown. The peaks of the Silver Crown are shaped and engraved to look like the Crest of Waves. A dozen pearls are spaced out evenly along the band. That is what I'm talking about. I'm also going to get the cleaver for myself because that's a level 3. And then the golden sword. Or should I keep the sword of heroes? I think I'm going to keep the sword of heroes and I'm going to give you the golden sword. Sorry mate about that. But <laughs> that's just the way it is sometimes. He wouldn't know the difference. He has no idea what is going on. So I'm sending him that. Uh, I might as well send him the plus 2 wax really. Let me just uh, give you the plus 2x, because we have a plus 3x, so to speak. Now let's get out of here and siege down the Pope. The smith I hired has unfortunately died. I don't think he actually died, you know? All things considered, didn't feel like he died. What a splendid object. Right, so the property that belongs to England is back in England. We now have armor, we have the crown of the sea, and the sword of heroes. Now that is truly equipment. The crown of sea is exactly what we deserve and what we desire because we are the king of the sea the king of the isles 
And we're going to prove it to all those faulty Christians that are standing in our way as I am saying what I'm saying. Now let's just take a look at what we can do. I think we have a grand future ahead of us here in the Mediterranean that will include converting to Christianity. I can already tell you this much. We will very, very likely do that. I can't tell you when we're going to do it because I haven't actually thought about it. But we will do it, okay? And a lot of you, some of you, have said, hey, what about becoming Cathar or, you know, something that isn't just Catholicism or Orthodoxy. The thing about that is that... Oh, what the fuck just that? Oh, Lombardy. So there must have been an inheritance. What exactly? I don't know, but... It certainly looks like a... Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, the Carlings are gone. You are not a Carling. Interesting. Do you hold a claim on Aquitaine? Not on Germany. That's interesting. Because how are you going to unite the HRE? If he just declares war for Germany, we would literally get the HRE in a few years, but... I'm not sure if he's ever going to do that. That does mean, however, that our... Our truce with Re Giglio, 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 whatever, of Lombardia is gone. That's pretty nice. Uh, I'm thinking... I kind of want to do Crusades and stuff, right? Because Crusades and stuff are super cool. Founding of an empire. Oh my goodness. He's a Caliph. So-called Caliph of Hispania. So that is the empire of uh, Hispania, right there. It's not de jure, as you can see right here. However, it will become de jure with time, as people accept it, which makes a lot of sense, historically speaking. Siege down all of Rome. Entire county should be devastated forever, if you ask me. Damn, we have a very, very strong Muslim faction over there. I'm, uh, I'm somewhat scared of that, to be honest with you, but we'll see about facing that. Uh, right now they don't take any interest in us, so I feel quite comfortable just hanging around. Uh, will it actually be fine? I mean, we'll see. Let's get back home after this plundering, and I think we might want to declare war against Lombardia to finish our conquest of the Isles, eh? Could already uh, get another smith. I'm just thinking, right? Maybe for an armor? What do you think? Might want to... You know what? I'm going to Talk to somebody here about a set of armor. Please give me a good set of armor if you could. Oh, don't want to don't give me anything. Eh? A new discovery. A new land has been sighted across the sea to the west of Iceland. While sailing to Reykjavik from Norway, Gunnbjörn Ulfsson and his crew were blown off course and came upon several skerries lying off the coast of a much larger island. Possibly a new continent. While Gunnbjörn did not go ashore, the land seems to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to us investigate this discovery further. Sounds like Greenland, but I mean, I'm not entirely sure. It could be America. I doubt it, though. I haven't seen this event, so I can't actually tell you. You know what we're going to do? I'm totally going to declare war on you. My 17,000? Man, people are loyal to him. I mean, that much is clear. What about you? You know what? I'm going to declare war on you for Mallorca. Because that is something that I also had interest in, and I'm just going to declare it. We're going to raise our troops, get some mercs, and then we're going to go out there and hope that everything will work out, pretty much. 9k, you know what? I'm actually going to hire, like, a small additional band. There you go. We got two... Oh, you're Christian, but you are Northerner. You are Northerner and uh, Azatru, so that's quite nice. We're going to get everything together here, and I think they're going to come to our island as they do, but I'm going to go to Mallorca first. Invite the Armorsmith, yes. I need protection. Once the Armorsmith craftsmanship had been checked by mo my most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient, I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Frirek and gestured towards his numerous assistants who all carried examples of his work. Does my Kondungur have anything special in mind? Give me a good armor. That's what I have in mind, buddy. Alright, we're gonna go over to Mallorca. Take it down. Give me the best. Give me like level 3, okay? Then then I can give the bad armor to our friend over in Englandi. That's what I'm here for. That's the stuff. Alright, we siege down the first holding here. They haven't arrived in our holding yet, so I can just sit around. That's perfectly fine. Damn. Lombardia is way stronger than anticipated. I mean, they are in a war, I suppose. But it's just a... I mean, the revolt does give him an opinion bonus, but I don't know if that is actually what does this. Put you over here so that we can take a look at uh, all of the sea. 
and learn of anybody's coming for us. The Emperor of the Romans Basileus Leon the Wicked was just crowned. What a terrible, terrible Basileus. Good news, right? They found wonderful ore that they would love to use, and I will, of course, spend for it. Oh, you're done here. Right, let's siege down Menorca. Marriage. What? Leon Focus. The grandson. Really? But that is a normal marriage, and she is insane. You have to... Like, you gotta say that, right? She's insane. She's not really that good a match. And I think despite her being our daughter, we must be very much aware for... Apparently not. No modifier for insanity. Damn, I don't know. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'll marry him. Does that give me, like, a, a question that I have to... Is, does this give me, like, a non-aggression pact? It does. Hmm. I don't like that part, because now Sicily's kind of isolated. But we can focus on Lombardia, I suppose. I don't know, maybe that was a mistake. You know what, actually? I'm sorry. I don't want to... I actually don't want to do that. I have different plans for the Byzantine Empire, especially when we have an insane man lording over it. What's the point there? No. Thank you very much. Alright, siege down Menorca, boys. Put on irons. Let's get him. That's what we do. We the Vikings, boys. Put them all in irons. What are they doing? Oh, there is a little rebellion going on, and he's quenching that one first, I suppose. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to park you in Mallorca. Then we're going to see what they are going to do. Actually, what I will do is I will split off like a tiny amount of the fleet. I'll put you right here on the coast. The armor shall be called Guardian or Champion. I will call it Champion. Let's take a look. Champion, level 3. Let's go. Oh, wah. What are you doing? Kjartan. Stop this. God. How oh, the mighty have fallen. Christianity back in Englandi. He's so goddamn weak. Win it, prepared invasion of Brais. I mean, too bad he holds one county in Brais, but don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. I, I'm not going to give him my old armor. You know what? I would rather give my son the armor. There you go. Because that's just disgusting. I'm not going to give a traitor to our name the armor. We have fought people like him. And we trusted that this wouldn't go this way, okay? But then again, we're not getting much more news than uh, stuff like this. Show bravery to inspire others. Sure. All right, I'm just I'm just keeping an eye out for everything, right? I just want to know what is going on, and until then we have to close the borders. Hehe, <laughs> you hear me? I can meme, boys. I know the memes of 2016. I've been there. I lived back then. I'm an old man. That's the way it is. I don't know where they are at the moment. They're not really coming. It seems. There they are. They're readying the boats, and when they're readying the boats, you know. Th Things are going down. And we're already talking about 43%. 43% of... Uh... They're harboring... They're anchoring right here. And now they're coming with a tiny fleet. Jesus. Come on, man. I'll do that. What are you doing? I don't even know if they will go for Mallorca. It doesn't look like they are, does it? Will they land here? No, they won't. All right. Good luck to you, buddy. Time to beat you up. Well, that was that beating, I guess. Didn't take that long, did it? Oh, he's bringing... Oh, there they are. Let's go, boys. Easy money. The Caliph has been bested by a mere Viking king. Truly, that tells the story of the might and prowess of the northern gods. I hope we won't give them up so quickly. But I don't even know if I finished my thought on Christianity. I feel like I want to become Christian, but only eventual, uh, eventually, I mean. And if I become it, I mean, why wouldn't we take part in a crusade? Riddle me this, yeah? Cathar is just like, it has so little flavor. But maybe I'm going to take a look at it, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying no to it. I want to make sure that that is clear. The Fraticelli heresy, well, I guess. 
Where the fuck even is it? Which one? This one? No, this one. We have the Fraticelli Heresy. Interesting. Do they have any mechanics? Bishops may pay taxes to the Pope. Is there a Pope? Oh, there is a Pope. The Fraticelli, or Little Brethren, is a Catholic heresy that originated in a Franciscan order of monks. It is devoted to poverty and ascetism, especially for men of the cloth. Fraticelli heretics are violently opposed to church wealth and displays of opulence. Interesting. They can call for a crusade. What? We might turn Fraticelli. That's all I'm saying. I'm not converting this. I'm not converting generally. I know some people are upset about uh, about that, but I'm not converting because I feel it's just like it makes it makes things too easy. Okay, I'm fine with having rebellions every now and again with having the people keep their natural faith. And here we go. We conquered Mallorca, which is a big, big step into the right direction. I will keep the castle and then we will dissolve our troops and I will get the boats back. That's for sure, because I think the next war may very well be against our enemy Lombardia and I oh that's not I was oh what the fuck happened to you buddy I think we want to go for a de jure war against you and you know what I'm gonna press the button right goddamn now because now is the time if not now then whenever but we've already and this is brutal we've already showed that the caliph in the west is nothing but an imposter there have been caliphs of old and I mean there still is the Abbasids are ruling in the in the east and somebody claims to be on the same level as Khalifa al-Radi the Noble. It is of course Khalifa Yaish of the Al-Umawi Caliphate. I, I, don't, I don't know man. Seems like a split in the Muslim world is happening here. Uh, how is the... 6.1 moral authority? Did they just have a council where Fraticelli popped up everywhere? I don't know, maybe, you know, Christianity seems to be a bit screwed. Maybe we are indeed going to go with Fraticelli. What is your opinion on that? I don't know if they have any special, like, stuff they can do, I doubt it, but, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert in this. A horror to suffer in this life as well, by the way. Navarra, why don't you get out of here? You would like to be my Chancellor. Is that so? Sure. Another Chancellor, buddy. Oh, my daughter's grown up and she is not insane. Wait a minute. Weren't you insane just a bit ago? I will teach you to be ambitious, absolutely. People in hiding. Oh. Mm. But I hate that people in hiding nonsense. Every time we go to war, people go into hiding and I have to manually get them out of there. Every damn time. Seriously. I'm not even joking. It is actually every damn time. Hey, can I please just... There you go. Alright, now let's walk down there, clean up the Lombards. Oh, you fools. You brought too many men. You did this to yourself. That is all I'm saying. Um, I will try to slowly maybe convert this. What is the chance? Ah, that's way... What's the point, even? Let's just do some cultural tech. We're gonna try to have a melting pot here. I don't think there is a melting pot culture down here, but you know what? I'm just gonna, like, emulate it. Roleplay it. Military research, sure. Uh, let's collect some taxes. We're running out of money quickly, is the thing. I'm very interested in just... Finishing the Lombards off as soon as we can, and we imprisoned a random man. 6k troops. Uh, if I dissolve these, we're still superior, so that is what we're going to do. We've already taken all of Corsica, and if we do that, then we will indeed succeed. Bring the family home, boys. That's the way it is. Oh, there you go, easy. Yeah, we're just... They're just, like, bringing them over here like they're fucking idiots, which they are, to be fair. Is this actually an army? Looks like it might be. Yeah, there you go. That's an actual army who could have known. Did you know that the Lombards did e actually have armies? They weren't just idiots all the time. But I have to bring him back. Right. I have to bring him back from home, uh, back home again. God, every time. I'm going to teach her in stewardship, sure. This is going to be a grand victory. I can already... I can already tell, but I do have a little bit of an issue. I'll be honest with you. I do take... Wait, I have a retinue? Oh, it must be in that army then. I do take a bit of an issue here with uh, circumstances. Noon approaches you, my liege. I have a great idea for a, moment, a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. Sure. Do it. Even if it uh, costs me money and pushes me down, I'm going to just 
put down the maintenance cost for the retinue. Do it and maybe the people of Sardinia will start loving me again. God, I love being the Kingdom of the Isles. It's such nice roleplay. I'm so sorry for like, I just, I love migrating with Norse people down here. How is, how's England doing? Who are you? English Revolt, what are you fighting for? You are fighting for your claim to England and you are going to win. God fucking bless. Not that I would influence it, but man, that's good. I mean, maybe we're just going to stay a pagan. I don't know. I doubt that, like, with the cultural influence down here, we would permanently, you know, actually stay a pagan. But there's no other choice than, oh, sure, I guess. Oh, wow. We killed two people instead of pursuing you, huh? Well, good thing you didn't catch me at the crossing. And that's a wrap right there. Thank you so much, buddy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to revoke your title. There you go. We rule supreme in the Kingdom of the Isles. Ooh, you're facing a rebellion against the tyranny, and he's also insane. You think it was our war against him that made him go insane? Maybe. It's tough to say these days. Really tough to say. You gotta... Hmm. I was thinking, my insane friend. I could do a conquest war against you. What about Butera? Butera. Excuse me? Where is uh, Butera? Am I... Which one are you part of? Oh, it's a revolt! I'm not gonna get fucked up in that because we're just gonna start sieging there and then they're, they're gonna decide, hey, the revolt's over now, everybody, we're going home! Nah, that's not worth it. You know what is worth it, though? Plundering! And seeing as the Byzantine Empire is in a bit of disarray, I think plundering them is more than just a solid choice. Now let's talk about Brandre, that's our yeah, grandson indeed. And Holmfried, it's, yeah, the sister of Brandre, they're both going to be strugglers and they're both going to be educated in warfare because that is what we do at the end of the day here. Yeah? You think we could do it? I'm going to go do it. If we sack Constantinople, that might rival the sack of Paris, and it might put, uh, you know, a bit of a smile on Knungre Brandre's face. At least as far as I can tell. Oh my god, what? <laughs> what the fuck, Denmark? That's not real, that's just ridiculous. So Denmark conquered the Kingdom of Germany. Was that a prepared invasion? Oh my god, what the hell? The monument promised by Nuno is finished. Some people in the crowd cover their children's eyes as the statue is unveiled. It's a couple in the middle of lovemaking and not exactly presented in a tasteful way. I am going to tear it down. Act I mean, I don't know, man. What a, what a weird thing to do. We're a kingdom. We're not just raiders in, like, you know, tribes or something. Hmm. I know, we are lustful, so I guess two must learn this sooner or later. It's a bit weird, but, you know, whatever you say, mate. You propose that these two marry. You are Christian, so I would rather not. What about the Jarl of Kent? He is a relative of ours. That's so weird. Maybe give me a matrilinear marriage set so that I can keep her here. Um, let's marry somebody that maybe isn't part of our family. Have you Have you thought about that? I'm going to marry in England to her, uh, England to her. That seems like a valid choice. So sieging down Constantinople takes a very solid amount of time. But that should work out at the end of the day. My kinsman, sure, you can be on the council. Hold a great plot. We're going to do that, but I want to sack Constantinople first. Oh boy, this is going to take time. But imagine if we were actually able to tear it down. Wouldn't that be fucking great? Aleta, Ingvar Stottir. I'm gonna name you my concubine. God bless. I need more concubines, I just noticed. And you know what? I'm gonna cancel the five kids ambition. Instead, I'm gonna actually try to forge a bloodline. Our father was unable to do it. We never got his bloodline. He never finished it. But with Konungre Brandre, I mean, come on. There's a chance. There is a chance here. I don't think we're gonna do the war thing. I would like to do it via one of the event chains. But we'll have to see. Let's take down Constantinopolis, boys. 
What the fuck? Oh, I just imprisoned you, huh? Who killed you in my prison? You're my new concubine, by the way. Did I tell you this story? Ah. Hey, give me, give me my concubine, please. Take a concubine. There you go. All right, boys. It has fallen. Unbelievable. Oh, that is also bad. What wonderful news. They're all pregnant. Get out of there, boys. You know what? We sacked it. I'm okay with that. We sacked the city of Constantinopolis. And we return with the tail, kind of, between our legs. But at the same time, have you sacked Constantinopolis? That's my question, okay? Now for a great blot. Can hardly wait. Uh, you pay, that's nice. Oh. You didn't pay, how dare you? Oh my goodness, why would you not pay? Hmm. Hangman readies the rope, let's take a look. Where's the Blessed Virgin? Can anybody, uh, anybody tell me where the Blessed Virgin is, by the way? Did you know? Let the celebrations begin. Now I was thinking, maybe we can actually achieve getting away with it if I do execution tyranny. Actually, abroad is fine. This will not worsen your vassal's opinion of you. This will upset the realm of some characters executed. Don't really care about the upset outside of my realm. Oh my god. The sound of this. How many do you have to kill? 30 people total. We killed 16. That's a pretty good rate. Uh, let's get back on track here for maybe actually achieving that. By sieging down some of these islands. Maybe we can capture some people here and there and get away with it. I would not like to declare a war to rebellion because the rebellion is just going to fall back and my war is going to end inconclusively. While on the other hand, I would love to declare against you yet again, but that's not possible. Let's not worry about that. What about you? You are not the same person. I'm... We're taking the Belagaric Islands completely today. And then maybe in the next episode, we're going for Sicily and Malta and whatnot. We have a lot to... Oh, I don't have the troops, do I? Not really. Don't really have the troops. Could I take a loan? Not that I will, but... 400 bucks, okay. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to try. Sometimes you got to be a bit risky. And I do personally believe that... Uh, Minorca is part of our realm. There you go. Alright, let's try our best, I suppose. Is 7.47k troops. Oh my god. But they are very bad at actually, you know, bringing them over here together. So maybe we get lucky, maybe we don't, I don't know. Find out in this episode. Literally in this episode. Oh, we had another son and now all of a sudden our titles will split. Well, isn't that unfortunate, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the realm works, alright, buddy? Don't be angry at me for how the realm works. Alright, everybody go over here. I see some boats already. Holy shit, that's a full... Infi fleet. Damn. You're allowed to do that? That's just rude. Oh, I hope that's not them. I just want to see them coming. That's all I want to do, okay? Let me just uh, put up a bit of a blockade here. Not literally a blockade, but a blockade, but it will show us whether or not the Muslims are coming to get us. There they are. Wait, are they? Oh, you're in that war. I see. Are you in a pact? Or no, that's because it's religious. Yeah, okay. I see. No, I, I see. I get it. Look, I get it. I'm cool. Question is... Can we get away with just landing here? I think we can. We called him while they were still quite low. I'm a berserker. Perfect. We already sieged down the first holding of Menorca. Crusader kings. The very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness Pope Sergius III to declare his intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of God. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Also, this young lad here won his war for England. I guess England is Christian now. What a what a shame. Oh, and here come the holy orders. Holy fuck. We love to see. Uh, what's the what's the Christian unity? 6.4 still. They can, I believe, call a crusade at 5. Although, the rules may be different. 
Metrolinearly? Why would I do that? The rules may be different in HIP, but I'm not entirely certain on that, so don't quote me on it. Oh, we lost a commander. What a shame. Did imprison another, though. Oh, and here they come. No, we caught him off guard. We caught him off guard, boys. This is how you do that. Oh, there you go. Let's go, boys. I got wounded. Well, too bad, eh? Do we have... I've been thinking, right? Do we have a court physician? No, there you go. Let me take a look as well as at domain centralization. I'm going to put that up. We're not over our limits yet at all, but I just want to do it so that it's done, right? We'll hear of our patients. They're coming over here. I'm just waiting here. If they're, if they're coming, I'll be waiting. Don't you worry about it. But I think it might be time. How many troops I got, boy? 7.88k. If they do come over, I have to be ready. I really, like, sincerely... You can't not be ready, you know? Alright, there you go. Nobody? It's pregnant with my child. Good thing you told me twice, buddy. Oh, I can't take these boats. Come on, man. I was gonna split you once. I think this should be enough. Alright, who's better here? You're insane. You're not gonna become anything. Ah, my half-sister's the insane one. You know what? Sending you off over there. Don't you worry about it. Just get out of here. I don't even know where he is. Ah, look at that. Yeah, go back home to the islands. Sister, you don't belong down here. You don't belong down here. I will teach you about... Which one is better? Unyielding. Absolutely unyielding. Yeah, 100%. Holy fuck. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, he's coming, but a very tiny army. And, I mean, that's all of Men Menorca under our control, so we might as well just jump into you. Oh, we're scarred. Hot. Very nice. And I guess now we just kind of wait. The Kingdom of the Isles is going to blob into that in this episode. I'm not going to, like, do this for the... And in the next episode, watch me finish this war. No, no, no. The Mazdaki priesthood. What the fuck? Although the prophet Mazdak always railed against the corruption of the Zoroastrian priesthood and his followers have never had an official structure to speak of, now that the faith has risen to so much prom to such prominence under Shpabet Javid of the Javidid Spa, it seems the time has come to give it to them. With chosen as the new what? With somebody chosen as the new something of the something. What the fuck? The Mazdaki faith has entered a new era, with the priesthood rivaling that of the Zoroastrians from which they once stemmed, and have perhaps now exceeded. Did you just what did you just do? How did you do that? How did he actually unironically do that? It must have been a decision there that I was not aware of its existence. Interesting. Very interesting. I will execute you, by the way. Gotta execute him. Aha, he who laughs last laughs longest. Oh, I just executed this man, huh? <laughs> uh, I do think Anzam's skull, eh, I don't know. Then again, you know what? Let's go get his skull. <laughs> We have his skull, boys. Now let's fast forward a little bit. There you go. There they come. That's what I want to see, boys. Easy money. I'm not a paragon of virtue. Um, they will remember fear. That's exactly what they will remember. 100% what they will remember. These are dead. These will be dead here in a second. You're not insane. Maybe you actually do deserve to be the spy master. No, that's my wife. I rule there. Never talk to me again. That is my wife. Allegedly. Is what they say. Allegedly, okay. Alright, we got him, boys. I guess. Now let's just hope we don't die right now because the war's almost over and then we can just go to the next episode. And the entire western Mediterranean Sea will be under our fucking control. Amazing. Only through decisive action by achieving complete control over my realm, I will be able to immortalize my name for centuries to come. Odin will, sh uh, will show me the way to eternal glory. Eh, I must be remembered no matter how, but I think that's just going to be like lore memes. I'm going to do Odin. Okay. We seem like somebody that likes Odin a lot. 
There you go. Easy money. Could have just given me that. You know that? You fool. Right, there you go. Look at that. The Isles have found their place in the Mediterranean Sea. Tell me where we should look for glory next. Should we like, for example, you know, Valencia here is a good option. Maybe even Tunis. I'm, I'm open to those. So should we just go for Sicily and Malta, for Crete, for Rhodes, for Cyprus, stuff like that. Tell me about it. And then we will talk about it and get a get a plan on. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And later, Alligator, tell me about the Fratticelli faith as well and what you think about it. Later.